What is up everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Tattoo Critiques. I'm Pony Lawson and today we're going to be diving back into TikTok tattoos and seeing what kind of messes these people get themselves into. We've done this once before and I'm excited to get back into it. You never really know what you're going to get with TikTok. Y'all do some crazy stuff sometimes, but that's the fun part about it. So ready or not, let's TikTok. So the very first one I'm pulling up, uh, looks like it's gonna be a palm tattoo. There's purple everywhere, and I know that's gonna hurt like hell. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, oh man. I, I hear from multiple tattooers that that's one of the worst spots you can get on your body. And I know there's a certain, oh man, that looks like it, it hurts. Uh, I know there's a certain way that you have to go about these palm tattoos. You can't really drag them like a normal line. You kind of have to go very slow and punch them in dot by dot. So this can be a very slow and tedious process. That's something you also have to keep in mind. Most of the time, these tattoos don't really stick all that well. There are a couple tattooers out there that can get them to stick, but uh, they are very few and far between, to say the least. It's just one of those spots that you move all the time. It bends, it flexes, so the ink really does have a hard time sticking. You know, that's, it's a really hard one to tell until it heals and see if that sticks around because it does look like he's going pretty slow and punching it in, but uh, you just don't really know. And I know that's something a lot of tattooers who sit through hours and hours and hours of tattoos, that's still something they struggle with. So again, I know that has to hurt like hell. Yeah, RIP. Let's see what this red marker one's about. Drawing what looks to be maybe a heart on the knee. Definitely looks like a heart on the knee, a sloppy heart, but a heart nonetheless. With whiskers. Maybe a jewel or a gem. Uh, youch. Got it. Uh, it's not what I thought, that's for sure. Yeah, that's uh, th that really came out interesting. I'm gonna try and critique the actual uh, quality of work here once it comes back around. But uh, neat idea nonetheless, and starting off from such sloppy line work, I'm pretty impressed with how the tattoo came out. Uh, I lied, those lines are garbage. <laughs> Oy, yeah, those lines are just as bad as the drawing. That's probably why they cut away from it as fast as possible. Yeah, those lines could definitely be better. The lines in the spider web are pretty weak, but again, it is the kneecap, one of the harder places to tattoo outlines on. Not the worst spider tattoo I've seen, but definitely not the best, especially on that area being below the knee should have been a lot easier. And it doesn't look like they shaved the area before they uh, drew on with marker. So it makes me wonder if they even cleaned the skin at all before applying this tattoo. I don't think they actually tattooed what they drew on the skin. I think they actually uh, wiped away this marker and put on a stencil because these lines aren't really matching up. When you look around this tattoo at some of the outlines, uh, some of them are doubled up, some of them are blown out. This really just isn't the best technically applied tattoo. It's a good concept, but as far as uh, the execution, it's just not so great. All right, let's see what this person's tattooing on their own thigh. What a beautiful day to give myself a tattoo. I don't know where they're going. Oh wow, old school fashion uh, deodorant stencil application. I haven't seen anybody use that on actual skin in years. Oh, it's a little uh, heart flames. Let's see how this goes. Well, I definitely hope that's a one-time use deodorant stick and that's not used on anybody else, which I have a feeling it's not. I mean, I do like the design. I think that's pretty cool. The little heart flame, but it's hard to judge the technical application because it is uh, taken from so far away. But overall, I do think this is a pretty cool tattoo. It's a nice design and a nice color. All right, next I'm gonna check out this Jesus on the wrist tattoo here. I've seen these tattoos done a few times, uh, some more impressive than others. Uh, and I've always thought it was rather strange. I'm glad he did it on his left hand, unless he is left-handed. With this one, the technical application looks pretty good. Although I think it is weird to have this tattooed on your body regardless. Uh, just because no matter what you do in life, Jesus is going to be there to help you. <laughs> but uh, more power to you. Amen. Oh, we've got another self-tattoo. Watch me bust up my knee at work. Oh, they're making it look like they're uh, bruised on the knees. How interesting. I've always wondered why people do this. This isn't the first time I've seen somebody make a, a bruised looking tattoo, um, which I mean, in this case, it looks pretty realistic. I'm pretty impressed with the work of it. It's just wild to me. It'd be nice if you didn't have the tattoo on the other knee so you could bust up the other knee as well. So it looks like you're on your knees all the time, but good job on the actual application of it. It does look real. Uh, so excellent work there. All right, let's check this one out. It says my son's first tattoo. Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Guy looks a little scared. Oh, oh. Please don't do that. Nice boots. Don't tense up. 
Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> You can tell that tattooer is having a great time with this. He's got a big old smile on his face. Unlike the client. <laughs> wow, he didn't get up there. Okay, chill out, my boy. My leg is sweating. My leg don't sweat. Why are you sweating? Yeah, his leg is sweating. Usually the first tattoo is the worst. Uh, you know, it's, it's you never really know what to expect. Yeah, he is going through hell. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's hamming it up a little bit now with some uh, Chupapi Nunyano. Okay. I'm going to have a mustache and that's it, bro. Let me take my jacket off. Huh? I'm sweating. Bro. Take those boots off, too. Usually, uh, for the artist, it's fun for about the first five minutes, but if he keeps squirming around and doesn't stop moving, it can be a bit annoying because it's not that bad on that spot, to be honest. Bro, we're only that far? <laughs> Well, good luck to you and the artist. All right, let's see what he's drawing. Some sort of triangle, maybe some teeth. So it's gotta be some sort of face. I see a couple eyes and some ears. Uh, maybe Dracula, I don't know. Dracula with a perm. Sick. All right, that's pretty dope. I like that a lot. So I'm starting to see a bit of a trend here where people kind of uh, have a quick, silly drawing ahead of time, erase it, and then put on a proper tattoo. I'm actually familiar with Find Your Smile, or Russell's work. He was one of our featured artists in a previous episode, uh, and I'm sure regardless he could freehand this thing with his eyes closed. And if you're into Disney and animation and those sort of tattoos, make sure you check out his work on Instagram. It is awesome. Let's check out this little bear in the mole. That looks pretty cute. Wow. I mean, I don't know what else to say. This thing is uh, pretty hilarious. Excellent use of the marks on your body. I know normally you're not supposed to tattoo over moles because the dermatologist wants to see if your moles turn cold, dark, black. That could be a sign of skin cancer. Freckles aren't too bad for the most part. You just want to avoid those bigger moles. But avoiding that on people like myself is fairly impossible. Molly, 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 molly. But cute tattoo. Every traditional tattoo artist's worst nightmare. Let's see. So I take it these are the new island boys. Are you talking about the text or the attitude? Uh, because I wouldn't want either of those in my shop. I bet they get all the ladies. Yeah, these tattoos absolutely would not be fun to do. Uh, and from the looks of it, I probably wouldn't enjoy their company either. Yeah, they kind of just look like scribbles on notebooks, uh, you know, which is fine. I'm not hating on that. Yeah, when people come in wanting all that text on their body, uh, it, it can be a pain in the ass. No tattooer in their right mind wants to do all that lettering, especially in a font like that where it's kind of like copied straight from a Bible or a book when there's not really any style to it. You know, there are a lot of great lettering tattooers out there that can make this look amazing. But when it kind of just sits on the body like that with no flow, like a stamp, it just doesn't look very original and kind of looks plain and boring. But good luck in life, boys, and I'll see you when you get those face tattoos. All right, let's check out this orange tattoo. It looks like good quality work from here. Oh yeah, uh, so obviously this tattoo isn't finished yet. There's a lot of outlines, but it looks like it's set up with a good foundation. Obviously I've said this a lot in the past, uh, setting up a good foundation for your tattoo is key for having an excellent looking tattoo in the long run. And this one looks to be right on track with that. It definitely looks like the artist knows where the light source is coming from. Uh, you've got nice use of greens and some light greens in the leaves, nice bright vivid orange. Uh, you've got some really nice use of bloodlines in this tattoo, as well as outlines uh, around the entire thing. And I like the nice little water drip on the side, uh, excellent addition. But yeah, this is a really nice tattoo and I can't wait to see it finished. All right, let's check out this girl tattooing her own face. What is a little diamond, I believe? Oh, uh, that looks like super cheap ink. <laughs> And I mean cheap as in not very good. That just looks like some generic ass back alley bottle of ink. I know most uh, reputable ink companies. I've never seen that one in my life. Uh, and it looks like she's tattooing from home with that nice Hello Kitty backdrop. You think she's in her little sister's bedroom? I mean, I mean she might like uh, Hello Kitty as well. She clearly likes pink. And this is going pretty much exactly how I expected. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it looks better than I thought it was going to. Um, but just the environment in which she's tattooing is pretty gross. It definitely looks like this is a home tattoo. I mean, overall, you didn't really do too bad of a job, but uh, you know, maybe try to get into a shop because your lines aren't that bad. Next. All right, let's check out what this guy's doing to his tongue or what he's already done to his face. It says sick on his face, uh, clearly. <laughs> oh, he's going for the old Joker smile. Pretty original. Uh, I mean, that's what, <laughs> What is he doing on his tongue? Come on. 
Youch. And now his nipple. Man, he just loves the abuse. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if he is at a tattoo shop or a circus right now. He's holding him down with cellophane. Uh, this is ridiculous. I hope this is a friend. Or maybe that's not so much of a joker, but more of like a, like a skull, like a Nightmare Before Christmas sort of tattoo. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna tattoo your face, I mean, you know, take the time and do something that looks good. We all don't have the same taste, I guess. Yeah. Ugh, that tongue tattoo though is something else. But yeah, he just, he just loves the pain. He loves the abuse, clearly. Totally gnar, bro. Next. Yeah. All right, let's check out this tattoo that says, I beat. I'm very curious to know what they beat. Jesus is gonna be there to help you. I beat. Why would you do that? You know, it's the little things like this. You're really messing with people. Like myself, who have to have everything aligned at dinner, that the fork has to be aligned with the spoon and the napkin. But it's not just the D that bothers me on this tattoo, it's the B and the E as well, because they're kind of thicker than the rest. So, cool idea, I think the execution was almost there. I just wish those uh, letters were a little bit cleaner than they are, but you still piss me off. All right, I, I don't know what tattoo padrito means, but all right, let's check out this Homer tattoo. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, looks like it might be mid-heel. Yep, they're gonna go ahead and peel off the um, second skin bandage now. That's uh, looking much better so far. You got all that gunk and plasma hiding underneath that bandage, so it definitely looks a lot better when you peel that stuff off. This looks like it's been on there for probably about a week or so. You can kind of tell from the hair regrowth. Yeah, this tattoo definitely looks a lot better. Now that they're wiping it down with some uh, soapy water, and you can kind of see all the colors come through, I mean, I don't speak Spanish yet. I'm learning, I've got Duolingo, so give me some time and I'll figure out what they're saying. But for now, if you guys can let me know in the comments. I mean, I could research it, but uh, that's what you guys are for. But yeah, this tattoo is super dope and I love the colors. All right, let's check out what this one is here. It kind of looks like an Aries sign or some sort of uh, constellation. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like the cleanest tattoo. Oh, that's super cute though. I love that, it's very original. And it's one of those things that you'd never really guess what it is unless you saw the dog's nose. And as a dog lover like myself, I can really appreciate a tattoo like this. I absolutely love it. What a good girl. Well, once again, I wanna thank you all for sticking around to the very end of this video. And if you like this sort of content, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here or share this video with your friends. I would really appreciate it. We do cool shit here. We look at tattoos. We never leave. Thank you again so much, and I will see you all next week.